do we talk about automation we cannot leave the name delta they are giving a lot of innovative solutions to the industry with new products new innovations in the automation sector we are at automation expo and we are having manish walia with us he is the head of automation of delta Sir, can you please let us know that what are the new innovations that Delta is exhibiting here at uh, Automation Expo? Sure. Thanks a lot for uh, coming over to our booth uh, in Automation. And uh, this is our uh, we've been participating in Automation Expo for quite a few years now. Of course, there was a big gap over the last few years, and uh, we have been uh, a regular automation provider across the uh, different segments of the industries. And in this particular expo, we are showcasing a lot of our new products as well, and the new uh, solutions what we have uh, for the market right now. For example, just to name a few, maybe Servo Press is something which is uh, a launch here uh, in this particular expo for us, uh, which is uh, covering a wide range up to five uh, tons right from the one ton. And then there are two types of Servo Presses uh, what we are uh, what we have launched here. Uh, one is the integrated solution, which is coming, and then it's a product, and then of course something. The other one is um, is being you know integrated here in India and then selling uh, in, in the segment. Apart from this, there are a wide variety of robots which have been uh, which have expanded in our family and uh, the automation offering. Uh, whether it is Kara, the articulated one, and uh, uh, another one which is really. Uh, has been a gap for some time for us. Uh, I would say the motion controllers uh, with the Codesis platform and uh, uh, otherwise, which is really expanding our market reach into the packaging, plastics, and a lot of other segments which uh, was probably missing in the past. So I'm sure uh, we are quite upbeat of uh, whatever new offerings we've had uh, in, in the automation expo this year. You mentioned that you know automation expo itself is happening after uh, two years pandemic. And uh, we have seen that a lot of companies are now looking at automation uh, with the kind of experience they uh, faced uh, during this pandemic time. So how do you think that India or Indian manufacturing is maturing up to adapting new technologies? So I mean if I divide your question into two parts, maybe uh, automation per se has been on the growing path for more than a decade now. Uh, the growth rate would have, you know, gone up and down that's that's one thing but then I would say uh, the last two years of pandemic has probably expedited the adoption and uh, which means that you know people like us all the automation uh, solution providers uh, including the product providers have a lot of play here in this uh, area different segments and we cover uh, right from machine to the process automation including the factory automation space and uh, uh, when it comes to India, of course, uh, uh, we, all, we all know MSME sector plays a big role. That's more than 50% of the manufacturing in India and then we all talk about industry for adoption. So we've seen that, you know, all these uh, uh, small and medium enterprises have also started investing into uh, this, this uh, sphere and uh, which is giving um, a lot of opportunities to people like us and our integrators and channel partners who are set in the market right now. It is very interesting you know, that a global player like Delta is looking at Indian MSMEs and uh, you know trying to empower them with uh, automation, build smart factories. So you know what, um, being in India you cannot ignore the MSME sector and uh, uh, alongside the large corporates who really have the mandate to go in for more and more uh, automation, a lot of investments coming in, we are, we are participating with, with their growth and their, their investments. Uh, but then we cannot ignore the SME sector and then that has been the backbone of our business growth uh, over the last more, more than uh, a decade now and we would continue uh, you know, uh, supporting the growth of the SME sector and then we have a lot of solutions for uh, at a good price performance uh, base which can really expand their productivity and efficiency much, uh, much better. That is I think is very critical for MSMEs to ensure that stable production stable performance and uh, greater uh, results for global market. I think that's important as uh, India is trying to have their own place in uh, the global sphere. Apart from being a consumption driven economy, I think we're seeing the exports growing. Uh, 
if I if I have the numbers right, we probably crossed 400 billion dollars last year, right? And the manufacturing also played some some part of it. And uh, I think we are all looking at uh, uh, a hub for the, the the exports to happen from a country. And India can definitely be one uh, big area wherein we see a lot of investments for for. From all the companies coming in here, including Delta, is investing a lot in, uh, into the manufacturing base being grown, and then a lot of R&D resources being added here. And uh, I'm sure uh, uh, exports will play a big role in terms of the GDP growth for the India in the coming years. Thank you, and uh, we wish you all the very best. Thanks a lot, and good luck to you as well. Thank you. Thanks.